Hey guys, Brett Marshall of CrossFit Calgary. Today's Tech Tuesday, we're just gonna review a movement that we played around with uh, in today's workout that actually our members came up with in one of last week's uh, workouts. The, uh, the workout description was box jump overs. Um, and I didn't describe exactly how we have to do it. Typically we do a box jump, get over the box. Uh, the question by some of our members was, what about jumping over using our hands as support? So it looks like this. And there was no way that I could refute that in fact they had done a box jump over. Starting on one side, jumping, landing on the other side. So um, program with that intent today, using box jump overs with hands as support over the box. And then I'll just breaking this down because this is the first time I've had a chance to do it um, as part of class. So, uh, things that I noticed, the first thing, we gotta create a support position here uh, using our hands, which means that we wanna create a locked out uh, joint here. Then as I go to jump, I wanna create a tight core because I have to lift my legs to get back up over the box. So, support position, jumping with a tight core, pulling knees in, arriving at the other side. Then if you're able to, you can maintain that um, core activation so that you're still tight, and then just uh, pop back over. Allowing us to move sort of quickly through the movement, or of course we can pause on either side. Um, the efficiency of that core recruitment and that stable platform, however, allowing you to get a lot of work done in 20 seconds. We did it as a Tabata. Uh, absolutely, you could get in 20 reps. I, I managed to keep about 18 um, and found that it started to become fairly taxing, challenging. Anyway, fun movement to play with. Uh, just some of the thoughts on um, this latest addition to box jump overs.